What examples would you give uh, someone who may be dealing with a quote unquote ageism or they're coming in thinking that they're quote unquote too old, which does not exist, by the way? It but does what, not what exist. Advice would, you, would you give them? We just get better. We just get like a fine wine, you know, we just age out there. Um, honestly, I think, well, I think imposter syndrome, right? That's a big, big thing, right? And that's for any age, any job, any pivot, like we all get worried about that. But I think the confidence comes from within, right? So I would say, you know, know your strengths, right? Or, or you know, have that confidence within yourself. So when they go, okay, well, you know, what do you bring to the table? You're like, well, you know, I've, I've been out of the, you know, maybe, maybe you've been out of the job, you know, the, the industry for a while you're, you're like, I run a household with six kids, you know, like I know how to schedule, I know how to manage, I can deal with egos, I can deal with time and I can do it all without, you know, losing my mind. I'll be like, that's someone I want on my team. Like that's, that's an amazing thing to bring to the table. And I think people are real worried about it, right? Cause they think they're like, well, you know, like when they're asked, what, what are your strengths, you know? there's this idea that their strengths should be something, you know, like tech related, you know, like, or, or whatever, but really it's, it's those, um, what have we decided we're going to call them human skills, right? It's those human skills that you can bring, right? Cause that's it. I mean, you know, like great. I love, you know, I love someone who's like Figma power. Great. Is that going to be around forever? Probably not. You know, like we can teach those things, but someone who comes to, to the table with a, a strong confidence that says, well, I, I know how to, I know how to pivot. I know how to use these skills that I have as a person, you know, and I can do that to help solve these problems with with you guys. And that's a huge thing, you know. And I love to see that confidence, um, and I like to see that that dynamic quality in in a team as well. You know, when you hire people who are all the same, who have the same voice and same opinion, you're not going to move forward. There's no progression in that. So, and I think that's something that, and it's really really hard when you're looking for a new gig, right? Or you're trying to pivot into a new industry. You're saying, you know. I'm 40 years old. Can I really do this? The answer is yes. The answer yes, is absolutely yes. yes. And yes. and those doubts that you have in your head, right? That's a conversation you're having with yourself, right? So you're completely in control of that dialogue. So pivot that dialogue. Pivot to a more constructive dialogue. Be like, yeah, like I can do these things. Like I I I have these abilities or I have these hobbies that have allowed me to do these, you know, certain whether it be like I don't know, showing that your entrepreneurial ship of whatever it may be and use that as a strength. It, it could be anything. I think people, you know, go in with confidence, take a little time to like have your own mantra for yourself. And then, you know, so, you know, I'm, I have worth, like I am a person of worth and I can bring something to the table. I think that's a very important thing for anybody walking in to the, you know, the interview to, to remember. Um, but especially people who, you know, think that, you know, maybe they're, you know, too seasoned to, to pivot in their career. You're never too seasoned to, to take on a new challenge. You could say that again, especially not in the world that we live in. And I'll tell you what's worked for me. It's taking the things that I've done and using it uh, to showcase my skills. For example, you know, I love examples because I do really good with that. So um, I waited tables, right, for a couple of years. So say that I was a waitress or something like that. I would say, hey, being a waitress allowed me to not only communicate with a lot of different personalities, but observe and learn the different personalities. So it's one thing to go to a table to take an order. It's another thing to calm down a customer that may be a little irate because their food's bad. Um, it's another thing to calm down a group of 20 people because their check came on one check and they all want them separated, right? There's a lot of human skills and a lot of there, there, there's that word again. There's a lot of human skills that come with that that I'm able to bring uh, to this organization. If I'm a teacher, my ability to create lesson plans uh, for weeks or months at a time allows me to not only time box to be more effective in the way that I talk, communicate, and work, but I am able to now assist with scoping quarter four, you know, two, three months in advance because that is a skill that I um, practice in the teaching world. That's something that I could bring to the table. I mean, if you were a janitor, like your ability to be able to do things quickly, um, uh, the, the um, uh, what is it, ambiguity, right, of mopping floors, like it's silly, but the fact that you're able to do that and you created a rhythm in your mind means when you're working from home by yourself, you're going to be just as effective because you've created this skill that's not mopping floors, but it's the consistency of doing something the same way over and over and over. So if you're able to like, pick whatever you're doing, whatever your last three or four jobs, uh, with whatever they were, and you're able to 
um, take the skill out of it. Man, if you were a garbage man, like take the skill out of being consistent with weather. You're out there, rain, sleet, hail, or snow, which means you're very valuable and consistent as a as a worker, right? Like anything like that. And I've worked in the system so long, I could probably pull I could pull it out of thin air now. 